remember Remember the night in Miami First time you put your arms around me I'm up reminiscing Thinking about you isn't helping Thinking about you doesn't tell me What could you Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another video. I still don't have my car mount, so we are living life on the edge today, and my camera is on my dash. In today's video, we are doing a maintenance vlog. You guys, I have not done any maintenance in so long. It's a problem. I haven't got my nails done in literally four weeks finally going to get my nails done today my appointment's at 10 it is like 9 40 and you guys already know where i'm at i'm getting my coffee this is like a ritual thing that i do all the time it's just a must for me gotta go and get my nails done and just kind of dedicate a couple days to just get my maintenance up just take some time for myself because your girl has not been taking time for herself like at all hey what can i get started for you today hi i just have a mobile pickup for say for say yeah thank you I swear I cannot go to any Starbucks without doing a mobile order. Like, I don't even order at the speaker phone anymore. I just can't do it. I cannot believe how grown out my nails are. Like, I don't know why I do this to myself. I've just been so busy, you guys. Like, I just haven't had literally five seconds to just take care of myself and, like, just do self-care. I always say in my videos, self-care is so important. And you guys need to be doing that. So I hope this video inspires you to take care of yourself. Hi, thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too. Depending on how traffic is going to be, I feel like I might be a little late. But honestly, they open at 10 and it's not really a big deal because I feel like they're not even open themselves like what is this Paris right now like I don't get it come on we just got here with four minutes to spare you guys it is absolutely pouring freaking rain and it's almost June like I actually hate Vancouver you guys like I literally want to leave this place hi hey Okay, perfect. Thank you. Girl, I don't let you in. Girl, I'm not gonna let you down. I ain't gonna keep you raving. Keep you going, it's gonna get knocked off. You play hide and seek, I'ma find you. Baby, hold on tight when you ride me. You know I like to eat, give me options. Keep you the way, it's gonna get knocked off. finish up my nail appointment she is looking so fresh i will never get anything else other than french my nail tech actually knows this now she doesn't even ask me she just knows every time i go in your girl is getting french 
there's nothing there's nothing better so it is just about 11 30 right now i'm gonna see if i can go and grab some beauty products i need some like foundation i need brow pencil i need a couple things i also need to get a body wash the body wash that i bought two weeks ago i really don't like it so i need to go and buy another one and my battery is dying before i left the house i was like okay i have my batteries charged everything is good and then i realized that cord actually wasn't even plugged in nothing was charging i was like this is just amazing great way to start my morning i'm running on a dead battery right now if she dies on me she dies on me so i just pulled up to the shoppers to get some makeup product i'm actually at a different shoppers today one that i've probably never been before to get makeup product the walmart that i usually go to never has the damn shade that i need so i was like you know what i'm not gonna make the same mistake twice so i'm just gonna go somewhere completely different so let's hope that they have what i need it's finally not raining so i was like you know what this is the perfect time Okay, my camera died literally midway through me explaining the stuff that I bought. So I'm just gonna do a little recap. Now that I'm at home, I didn't actually come home and charge my battery and go back out. I literally just did the things that I needed to do. I came home because I was like, you know what? I am so lazy right now. I just don't have the energy. I did already speak about the makeup products that are like my go-to products I need basically every single month. I wanna say my foundation probably will last me just about a month. Also this brow pencil, it's amazing, but it doesn't have a lot of product in it so I run out of it really quickly because I do my makeup every day it's just something that I have to re-up on every single month in terms of a body wash I don't have to re-up on a body wash every month however I did have to get one this time around because the body wash that I got before was not good and I did not like the scent so we stuck with the sweet peach and nectar fragrance from the native brand this you guys I could honestly go on and on about this company right here I don't know what they'd be using but it's fire and then I quickly ran into a couple more stores I needed to get a foot mask because I didn't do a pedicure this time around I probably do a pedicure once every two months I'm gonna be completely honest because I find it so unnecessary to do a pedicure every single month because like it's just not needed in my opinion the only time I will get a pedicure is when I have to redo the color on my toes and the French pedicure other than that they don't really do a good job anyways of actually like exfoliating and cleaning my feet either like I've never found a place that really does a great job I swear all year round my feet and just skin in general is so damn dry so I always am on the lookout for products that will help bring a little bit more moisture into my skin we ended up getting this Aveeno foot mask I have used this in the past and I really really like it it's just it just brings my skin back to life so this is for very dry skin which I do have on my feet that's why I'm always moisturizing I'm always exfoliating making sure that I'm constantly putting product on it to keep the moisture in but the Aveeno brand is really good I've used this before love it love it I did actually need new shaving gel I was using the EOS brand before the place that I went didn't have it. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try something new <laughs> I'm always trying to try something new. You know what I mean? I got the Venus ultra moisture and this is I don't know what's going on with the lighting. Let me just ultra moisture shaving cream and this is made with Olay and I love Olay products too. I was like, you know what? This could honestly be a vibe. And the last thing I bought for my skincare later today, I bought this facial cleanser and massager tool. I've seen this so many times at the store and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna buy it, I'm gonna buy it. And I just never bought it. And you know what? I was like, you know what? Today, I'm gonna just buy it. I have used something like this in the past where, you know, like I'm putting my face wash on and it's just way nicer and more, I wanna say it's a little bit more relaxing. It's Instead of going in with your hands, if you just go in with more of a massage tool, it's just a little bit more relaxing, just nicer on your skin. And that is basically all I got from the store. It was just a quick little run. I didn't need a lot just because I went out probably about two weeks ago when I got like shampoo, conditioner, and just all of the regular stuff that I always get. I'm gonna chill for the rest of the day right now. I gotta do some work on the computer. I gotta finish up a couple of my vlogs. And then tonight I'm gonna do my whole self-care routine. I gotta do my self-tanner routine because I've already said this, I am looking so pale and I'm so not used to it. A non-negotiable for me every month is giving my brushes a much needed clean. I usually start off by using dish soap in a vase and I soak the brushes in there. I find using dish soap is the best product to break down the makeup and the oil and it's much cheaper than buying a makeup brush cleaner.
This is actually a little hack that I found on Pinterest, but I actually use a Dove bar soap to clean my brushes. This will help break down the grease and the oil built up within your brushes, and it will also make the bristles super soft. I'm basically going to take each brush out of the vase. I'm going to clean it on the Dove bar soap until the brush runs clean. I love using makeup wipes to take off majority of my makeup. I'm using the Neutrogena Night Calming Wipes for now, and I will be doing the remainder of my skincare later on. Realistically, I like to take a bath once a month. The therapeutic benefits of bubble baths, especially for the comfort of dry and sensitive skin, are undeniable. The hydration, gentle cleansing, stress relief, improved blood circulation, muscle relaxation, and enhanced skincare routine make bubble baths a holistic self-care practice. Hopping right into the shower to start my everything shower routine.
I always do my hair care first before I go on to doing my body care. So we're starting off with the Native Moisturizing Shampoo. This is in the coconut and vanilla. Following with using the Native Moisturizing Conditioner, and this is also in coconut and vanilla. Indulge in a spa-like experience at home with Pixie Collagen In-Shower Steam Facial. This luxurious formula suitable for use in the bath or the shower offers a pampering treat for your skin. Experience the firming, plumping, and moisturizing benefits as it restores radiance to your complexion. Massage onto your face and leave it on during the shower and then rinse it off. Moving on, we're using the Native Body Wash. This is in Sweet Peach and Nectar. I'm using a silicone scrubber because I don't use loofahs anymore. They are filled with bacteria. One of my favorite products to use for exfoliation, this is the Dove Body Scrub in brown sugar and coconut butter. Since I will be doing my self-tanning routine, I definitely have to go in with this. This was my first time using this shave gel and I must say it is 10 out of 10. It left my skin super soft and smooth and I will definitely be using it every single time I have to shave. For my feminine hygiene wash, I'm going in with the Vagisil White Jasmine. Moving on to using a sugar scrub. So this is going to help with removing dead skin cells. It also helps rejuvenate the skin by cleansing all the dirt from the skin pores. With all the dead skin cells and dirt removed, the new skin is more radiant and you will have a healthier glow. Moving on to some skincare, we're going to start off by shaving the face, so I love to use this facial oil by a Drunk Elephant. Using an oil is going to help the blade glide smoothly on your face and it's going to prevent you from hurting yourself.
This is a highly effective way to exfoliate your skin and get rid of peach fuzz, which can trap dirt, oil, and your foundation and make you look older. Gonna go in with some tweezers to just clean up my eyebrows. Moving on to using a jade roller. So this is gonna help brighten your skin complexion, reduce puffiness, stimulate lymphatic drainage, and promoting blood circulation. Next, moving along to use the Gasha tool. This is absolutely one of my favorite practices for my skincare routine. So the Gasha tool is an alternative therapy that involves scraping your skin with a massage tool to help improve circulation. It's also very relaxing. Moving along, I'm using a neck and face sculptor. I've been using this for quite some time. So this combines LED light, EMS microcurrent, and heat and massage. It improves blood flow, increases collagen production, and it tightens and tones the face and the neck. This neck and face sculptor causes some incredible chemical changes at a cellular level beneath the layers of the skin. The therapies combined into this wand have been shown to assist with reducing double chins, reduce fine line and wrinkles, tighten and tone the face and the neck, and clear pores from nasty bacteria that cause acne. Moving along to ice globes. Ice globes are cooling wands used in facial and face massages to soothe redness, decrease inflammation, and prevent the appearance of large pores. To end the night, I'm going to be using the Formula Pores Be Pure Mud Mask. Using a mud mask is going to help to remove oil and impurities before they can cause blemishes. In many cases, they also help tighten pores and skin to give your face a fresher, smoother appearance. For my self-tanner routine, I'm using the Coco and Eve Bali Bronzing Foam in Ultra Dark.
morning you guys it is currently the next day and I'm just getting ready to start my day it is about 9 a.m. right now and I have to do my makeup and hair so I thought I would film that for you guys because a lot of you guys have been asking me to do like an updated everyday makeup routine I've been crimping my hair a lot and I've been getting so many questions about how I do that if I can do a tutorial I thought I would add that in today's video I've already done my morning routine I've taken a shower and as you guys can see this is what the tan is looking like I honestly love it really dark I know some people are like ooh that's a little too dark but I don't care because in a couple days it's gonna fade and it's gonna be like the perfect the perfect color we're gonna start off by doing my foundation I've got my morning coffee here you guys I cannot start my day without my coffee I've actually stopped taking pre-workout Honestly, it's just because I don't like the pre-workout that I have in my house right now. And I've just been drinking coffee. And I love it. Starting off with the L'Oreal Lumi Glotion. I really like this because it has like an undertone. I really like that because it just brings my makeup to life. And like, if you guys can see, it's, it's almost like a BB cream, but not really. The foundation that we bought yesterday, this is the Maybelline Superstay in shade 220 Natural Beige. I've actually been applying it with a beauty blender and I used to never do this. For some reason, it just makes the application of my foundation so much smoother. And I always go over my lips because I just have to. It's just part of my routine. So as you guys can see, I'm literally just dabbing with this beauty blender to just kind of buff everything out, blend everything nicely so there's no harsh lines. And you guys, this foundation is so high coverage. And I am a high coverage type of girl. It's not because I'm trying to cover like my face or I have acne or anything like that. It's just, I just like the flawless look behind a full coverage foundation and there's nothing wrong with that so many people are like oh you wear so much makeup I'm like if you guys actually knew how much makeup this truly is it's not even a lot it's just because I think I know how to apply it and a lot of people don't know how to do their makeup when they see someone that has perfectly flawless makeup they're like oh that's a lot of makeup I'm like no actually I'm gonna be for real, it's actually not. And you guys will see in this video that it's really not. It's just your average, everyday makeup. I don't even put lashes on, I don't even have fake lashes. Next we are going in with a concealer. I've been using this concealer for a long time. This is the Koki Cosmetics Double Wear Full Coverage Concealer. This is in 104 Golden Tan. To be honest, I usually use the Huda Beauty one but I ran out of that and I just haven't re-upped on it. But this concealer honestly is really good. Just taking a little beauty blender here and we're just gonna blend that out. Since your girl has some heavy, heavy bags, I like to really conceal those. So I am using a lighter concealer, also Koki Cosmetics. This is in Tan Peach. And I'm just using the tiniest bit because I'm just wanting to get right at the dark circle line and then we're just going to dab, dab, dab and blend that out. And as you guys can see, I'm not pulling the product all the way underneath my eye. I'm just keeping it right in the front part of my under eyes. I still haven't found a cream contour that I really, really like, so I've just been stuck using the Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer, and this is in Honeycomb. This is not even, like this is actually a concealer, but it works really well as a cream contour. You don't need a lot of this product, and it just blends really smoothly. So I just like to add a tiny bit, and then if I need more, I'll just keep adding more and more. It's easier to add than to take away. But as you guys can already see, it's like, I don't know, I feel like I cannot do my makeup without cream contour now. And I used to be the complete opposite. I used to just use a bronzer and I was like, oh yeah, that's good. But I realized that it just didn't really do anything for my face. And of course, because my makeup brushes are so clean, I did them yesterday, my makeup's just gonna look so flawless today. And it's really necessary to actually be cleaning your brushes because I feel like that gets forgotten about a lot. 
And people just don't have the energy or the time, you know? So whenever I feel like there's a couple harsh lines that I don't like, I just go back in with the Beauty Blender and I just kind of buff out those edges. You know what's crazy? I feel like I don't have a lot of product on that I'm normally used to because I actually have a clean brush. And normally when you don't have a clean brush, you're just constantly using old product in the brush plus the product you're putting onto it. So you're gonna have like double the product. Oh, so now I'm feeling like, damn, this is actually how much product I should be putting on. Cause sometimes I was like, oh my gosh, I have so much of this concealer on, like how can I remove it? Like, and I didn't even put a lot to begin with. So that's why it makes me laugh. I'm like, wow, having a clean brush is, is very necessary. I'm just gonna add a tiny bit on my jawline here. Once that is all done, I'm going in with the Glowish by Huda Beauty. This is the Luminous Pressed Powder in 03 Light. We're just gonna coat the face with that. Next, moving on to my holy grail. This is the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Powder. This is in banana bread. Honestly, this is like the best thing I've ever, ever used. Just taking a beauty blender and just really coating underneath the eyes. And we're gonna let that bake, but what we're not gonna do is I'm gonna kind of buff out these edges. If I don't do this for my makeup routine, my makeup is not makeuping. So this is so necessary. This is definitely something I have to do. As that is baking, I'm just gonna take the Hula bronzer here. I'm gonna add. Of course, I was like in the middle of filming and my camera completely just shut off. And I realized I didn't even film basically anything else I did after the bronzer. So let me just reiterate what that was. I used the Benefit Cosmetics Hula Bronzer. I went in with three blushes and I was like explaining this in such detail and like I realized I wasn't even filming. Like, oh, what an L. Obviously I already have the blush on so I can't go back in and redo it, but I started off with the Koki Cosmetics and this is in the BL11 Sweetheart and this is just a lighter blush and I like to go in with that first because it just kind of sets the tone for everything else. And then I went in with the Giorgio Armani blush and this is a little bit of a muted blush and I like to just add a little bit more muted colors before I go in with the hot pink. Lastly, we went in with the L'Oreal 24 Hour Fresh Wear blush and this is in 10 Confident Pink. This is really pink. I honestly just used a tiny, tiny bit. And then I was going on to do my brows when I realized that my camera wasn't even on. So I have my handheld mirror and I've just been like brushing out my brows here. And I'm using the L'Oreal Brow Style Definer. This is in Brunette. I actually really like the brow pencils that have like a fine tip instead of the ones that are like a crayon base. I was using one from Annabelle. It was like a crayon based one and I was like, oh my gosh, I do not like this. Before I even do my brows though, I'm going to wipe off this powder here. I really don't do much for my brows. I honestly just like line them up at the bottom here, line them up at the very top, like third way through my brow. I used to use the Benefit Cosmetics one, and I was like, you know what, I'm looking for something new, I'm looking for something that's like kind of similar, and this is honestly so similar. I remember when I first got it in PR, I was like, ooh, like, I don't really like this eyebrow pencil, and it kind of grew on. Now I'm just doing like fine strokes, and then we're gonna brush that out. Because I do have a lot of volume at like the top part of my brow, I'm not gonna go in and fill that in. I'm gonna start probably at the arch of my brow, and then give a little shape at the end. As you guys can see, this is my good brow, and it's way more arched than the other one. I honestly have tried to get like Botox to keep this one up, but honestly, it does not stay. She don't want to stay. Who is messaging me right now? At 9.30 in the morning. Please do not. To set my brows, we're using the Maybelline Brow Fast Sculpt. This is not my favorite, but you know what? I couldn't find anything else that will hold my brows up, and this is like the closest thing that I could find. 
I'm actually going to add a little bit of this blush to the outer parts of my eyelid. I don't know why I've been doing this and it just kind of looks good when I go and do my eyeshadow. I'm taking the Huda Beauty Warm Matte Obsessions palette and I'm going in with obviously the only color I've used in this palette. And it's just like a light brown. And I'm just going to apply that to the outer corners and I'm just going to blend. I honestly do this every single day. I feel like if I don't have something on my eyelids, my makeup is just not done. So I'm just taking a fluffy brush here and we're just blending that out. It doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to go in with some liquid liner. We're just kind of blending up to the brow bone like so. This has honestly been my everyday makeup routine for probably months. It's just so easy and quick for me. Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of liquid liner. First of all, I hate this liquid liner. I bought it and I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna use it because I don't wanna waste. This is the Ramel London Wonder Link. It's honestly horrible. But you know what? It does the job and I can't complain. So I like to do a very small liquid liner because we don't need to be doing anything dramatic because this is just an everyday makeup routine. So I like to kind of stop it right in the middle of my eye and just kind of give it a little wing, you know? Now I'm just going in with my mascara. This is the Huda Beauty One Coat Wow. This is literally amazing. This is the only mascara that I actually use. Okay, moving on to the lip, we're using the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Pillow Talk Lip Liner. I just recently got this in PR. I like it, I really do, but I feel like I need a shade lighter, but we make it work, okay? Like, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous lip liner. It really is so silky and smooth when you put it on. I just feel like my everyday lipstick is a little too light for it, but you know what? It's whatever. I literally have talked about this so many times. You guys are an OG, you guys know. This Maybelline Nude Lust lipstick, unbeatable. I don't, like, I literally get so much makeup in PR, so many different, like, nude lipsticks, and this is just the one. This is the one. Literally obsessed. Like, it just looks gorgeous. This is honestly from Sigma. Like, this is like from forever ago. I like to go in with a lighter shade and just highlight. Just gotta give it a little bit of like definition and dimension. Almost done, we are moving into the lip gloss. Again, I used to never be a lip gloss type of girl either. I used to honestly just wear lipstick that was like matte. I don't even know how I did that. Like my lips were so dry back then. So we're using the Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Gloss and I have let me just show you guys. This is their Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Mask. And like, I don't know what they be putting in here, you guys. I swear, I say that about every product that I like. But it's just so good. Uh, this is in shade Nudie. And it's just this beautiful nude shade that I put on top. I like to do my nose contour. So I like to go in with a angled brush with the Hoola bronzer once again. I actually use powder for my nose contour and not cream. I know some people use cream. I don't know. It just doesn't work for me. I'm just basically going to start at the very top of my nose and just bring the line all the way down. Just gonna take a random brush here and we're just gonna blend it's gonna kind of take like a minute or so but you just want to make sure you're really blending out those harsh lines for it to just look flawless so my makeup is finally done this is honestly my everyday makeup routine like there's really nothing to it I forgot to blend apart <laughs> Very like simple and easy. It's really not that much makeup if you actually break it down. So I'm gonna do my hair right now. I'm gonna use the crimper that I've been literally obsessed with for the last like two weeks. So I did get this from Amazon. It came with like a couple different heads. So you could honestly just change the heads whenever you feel like. I've really been digging the whole like crimp look lately. So we're gonna stick with that vibe today because my hair is freshly washed. Before I put any heat on my hair, I always use the Bondi Boost Heat Protect Spray. So now I'm just gonna section off my hair. I always like to start by the temples and grab a section here and just put that back up because we're not gonna be needing that right now. My camera is literally dying again. I honestly just ordered a new battery from Amazon yesterday. It should be delivered today. Story of my life. I had to move the camera because I don't want the cord to be in my beautiful shot. So we've got the crimper here. 
basically what we're gonna do is we're just going to grab a decent amount of hair here and we're just gonna open up the crimper and you're just gonna hold it for about like four or five seconds and you're just basically gonna repeat this whole process it does heat up pretty quickly and it does crimp really fast it doesn't take too long to do I'm finally done my hair. Just to keep my hair intact, I'm gonna be using the Garnier Sleek and Shine Oil. I'm just gonna use a tiny bit of this because this honestly is super oily and I don't want my hair to look oily. So I'm just grabbing the bottom half of my hair and just running my fingers through it. And then I'm gonna add a tiny bit more just to the top. And then just for the top of my hair, I'm gonna do a little bit of hairspray just for the baby hairs and the flyaways. And that is basically it. So that is my makeup and hair routine that I've been honestly doing for the last little while and I just love it. It's such a fresh like summer look. I'm gonna be closing up this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I hope that this video reminds you to take care of yourself at least once a month. A lot of the time I know life is super busy and we always get caught up in other people and not ourselves and it's very important to take care of yourself and remember that you always come first and to really give yourself some self-care. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Ciao!